I am pleased to share the financial results of Adani Total Gas for the full year and quarter four of the financial year 23-24. Financial year 23-24 has been a transformative year for Adani Total Gas and the team ATGL has delivered a robust operational and financial performance. Let me share with you the key highlights. Over, overall, CGD volume rose by 15% year on year for the full year and 20% year on year during quarter four. Our CNG network has now increased to 547 station. We are serving now over 8.2 lakh PNG homes and chasing a target of a million homes. Our full year EBITDA stood at INR 1150 crore, which is 1150 crore, up by 27% year on year basis. We are well capitalized. During the quarter four, which is from Jan to March 24, we commissioned phase one of Barsana Compressed Biogas CBG plant, which once fully commissioned across three phases, will be the India's largest CBG plant. Currently, on EV side, we have a network of 606 EV charging points spread across 14 states and more than 1,000 charging points are in the advanced stage of commissioning. I will now share in brief our company profile and future growth drivers. Adani Total Gas, as you are all aware, is one of India's leading city gas distribution companies, present in 52 geographical areas. Of these 52 GAs, 33 are in standalone in ATGL, and 19 geographical areas are with our joint venture partner, Indian Oil Corporation. The company name is Indian Oil Adani Gas Private Limited, in short, IOGPL. Besides CGD, we are also present in e-mobility and compressed biogas business through our wholly owned subsidiaries, ATEL and ATBL. We are fully committed to India's energy transition journey and continue to invest in creating world-class infrastructure across our geographical areas. We are diversifying and incubating new business opportunities in the areas of compressed biogas, EV charging infrastructure, LNG for trucking and mining, which we call it LTM, which are adjacent to our core CGD business. I will now share our operational and financial highlights for the quarter and year end March 31st, 2024. During the year 23-24, ATGL has built 91 new CNG station, taking our network to 547 station. Of these, out of 547, 108 are on company-owned dealer-operated or a dealer-owned, dealer-operated, full-branded CNG stations. We will be having incremental focus to build our Kodo and Dodo CNG stations. Our steel pipeline infrastructure has now increased to 12,023 inch kilometer. This is a backbone of our CGD infrastructure. This is helping us to reach large masses across all our geographical areas. During the year, ATGL added 1,16,000 new homes on the PNG network, taking our domestic PNG consumer base now to 8.2 lakh homes. On the industrial consumer side, we have increased, we have added 896 new consumers in financial year 23-24, and the total industrial commercial numbers have now increased to 8,331 consumers, covering diversified industries and commercial establishments. Our Pan-India footprint, along with our JV, IOGPL, in CNG stations has crossed 900 stations to 903 stations and serves over 9.76 lakh homes, 942 industrial, 9,000, sorry, 9,142 industrial and commercial consumers. Now let me give you update on our other businesses. In e-mobility, 
we have 606 EV charging points across 14 states with additional 1,040 plus EV charging points under various stages of commissioning. On our compressed biogas business side, as I spoke about the phase one of biogas Persana plant being commissioned, we have also won a tender to set up a 250 ton per day MSW plant in Rajkot, that which is a CBG plant, and 500 ton CBG plant in Ahmedabad. In our LTM business, we are setting up two LNG dispensing stations with one each at Dahej in Gujarat and Tripur in the Tamil Nadu. This is just the beginning of our footprint to be grown on LN LTM side where we will set up large number of LNG station across the country. Now let me give you highlights on the CGD volume front. During the year, our volume rose by 15%. With the fast acceleration of a CNG network, our CNG volumes has increased by 21% year on year to 557 million metric standard cubic meter. And our PNG volume has grown by 5% on year on year basis to 308 mmm SCM. This PNG growth is largely due to recovery in PNG industry segment and new consumers addition on homes and commercial side. On quarterly basis, in the quarter four, CNG volume has increased by 23% year-on-year -year basis to 149 billion metric standard cubic meter. And the PNG volume has increased by 15% year-on-year basis to 83 mm SCM in quarter four, financial year 23-24. On the financial front for full year, our revenue from operations stood at INR 4813 crore, up by 3% year on year. EBITDA has rose, has risen by 27% year on year to INR 1150 crore. Profit after tax has increased to INR 653 crore, 653, up by 23% or year on year basis. For quarter four, financial year 24, our revenue has gone up by 5% to 1257 crore on year on year, on year basis. Our EBITDA has increased by 49% on year on basis to INR 305 crore. PAT has increased to INR 165 crore. We are very well capitalized with our debt to equity ratio at 0.41x and net debt to EBITDA ratio at 0.89x. Our credit rating is AA minus by ICRA and a stable outlook. ATGL has drawn its capital management plan and will leverage its healthy balance sheet to fund its future capex requirement besides, besides plowing back its internal accruals. Lastly, on ESG front, ATGL continues to have a focused approach on the sustainability front, ATGL got ranked at 13th under gas utilities by S&P Global ESG rating and has become the signatory to the United Nations Global Compact. ATGL continues its initiatives on ESG program like Greenmosphere, Green Belt Development, Solarization of ATGL Sites, Water Harvesting, etc. Thank you.